What's up YouTube? Jet Fuel ADC here. And tonight we're gonna take a look at the Spyderco McB. So this is a knife that was designed by a US Marine veteran and custom knife maker, Jonathan McNeese. This knife is based off of one of his his custom knives, the Killer Bee. So as you can see, this is the McB, the knife he used to do, or the, the custom knife is the Killer Bee, McNee, McB, Killer Bee. See how that kind of goes together? So as we can see here, we got beautiful titanium handles, all milled out just phenomenal looking the aesthetics on this knife they went above and beyond with it you can see you got these lightning holes small little uh, lanyard hole here you got all open construction barreled back spacers And as I alluded there, the, the lanyard hole got a stainless steel pocket clip, which is right hand tip up only. You got this like stippled or textured pivots. I like how they did that. They did it, you know, on each side of the pivot. They did it back here on the lock bar and once again back here on the lock bar relief um it's just a nice little touch to the knife it kind of just adds a little something to it um as you can see you got a warncliffe style blade and let's see if we can pick that up off this tiny little guy cts xhp that thing's a mouthful for me to say as you can see, it's uh, made in Taiwan. Jonathan McNeese right there, his logo. But got this nice Warncliffe style blade with a hollow grind. It's just, it, it's a great cutter. I mean, use it kind of like a razor blade. And it, I mean, this thing, you're not going to go chop down any trees or anything crazy like that, but this thing's a great little backup knife. You need to open a box, you need to open a letter, you know, do some fine detail cutting. This is a knife for it. It's phenomenal cutting edge. Um, <clears throat> it is a, a frame lock with the uh, Reeve Integral Lock style uh, frame lock as you can see that lock up is already let's get it to focus here i'd put that at about 50 or 60 percent so i'm going to be interested to see how well that holds up it's solid and no side to side no up down no blade play centering on it is Man, I wish I could get this to focus. The centering on it is right on the money. Come on. There we go. This side will pick it up. And you can see right on the money. Just a great little knife. Um, the fit and finish on this, the, the things they did to kind of set this knife off, very good job. Um, let's do some, uh, let's do a little spec data here. Not a whole lot to see, as you can tell. About two and a quarter closed. Your overall, it's gonna be a little over three and three quarters. Probably about 3.8, something like that. 
uh, your blade itself right at one and a half and you draw your cutting back cutting edge just a hair back there I mean not much about 1.5 about the same uh, let's get the calipers out here do a little thickness and see if they were zero yep they're zero got about 1.17 And the handle thickness is about 0 0.395, 0 0.4, somewhere around there. Get a weight on the little guy. You got one point six six ounces super light super light knife and 47 grams so as you can see this is a very very tiny knife um, there's no you're not gonna be well I can't I can't spidey flick it I can get it about about 40 percent maybe halfway but that's it um, the best way is just the the slow roll it is capable of one one hand operation you can spidey drop it it's not not very uh, easy to do there it goes um, the easiest way is just slow roll it and you get that one-handed operation there and you can take away with your cutting there so just to kind of compare this a little bit, I wanted to do some uh, some smaller knife comparisons. So I brought out the Kershaw Sender. And as you can see, that knife is pretty comparable, uh, minus your blade. The blade is obviously much bigger. Uh, you're looking at a little over an inch tall here. And then, you know, this guy's mm, just a shade over, over half an inch, maybe closer to three quarters. Um, you got a mini recon one, which is very comparable to that. And the Isham Blade Works Black Star, which is quite larger as you can tell that guy and this is a tiny knife so you can definitely tell the size difference there it's quite larger so yes the McB is a, a uh, small knife but it's great it really is it is absolutely great knife with that being said, let's get into the likes and dislikes. So, as you guys seen, 1.66 ounces, crazy light, super lightweight, compact, just a great little secondary carry knife. Kind of the, oh crap, I need a knife. Like, oh, we're, you know, that that's your knife right there. That thing is awesome. It's a great, you know, backup knife, just, Phenomenal. Fits right in the pocket. No issues there. Great, great blade steel. Great, you know, everything. They did They did everything on this knife. Perfect. In my opinion, they did it perfect. Um, the blade steel, uh, that CTS XHP, it's great. It's corrosion resistant. Holds a great edge. It's super sharp. It, you know, the... the hollow grind on it makes it a great cutter it, it's awesome the design I, I love the design it, it really reminds me of the yojimbo too it really does that worn cliff style blade is just just a smaller version of it it really does it's awesome i would love to see uh spider co make a uh yojimbo 2 with titanium i think that'd be pretty cool 
Um, my dislikes. Obviously, I'm going to say the price because it is, it's it's $130 for this knife. But in my eyes, it's worth it because the, the materials they use to make this knife, if you can afford it, it's a great knife. It really is. I mean, I can't say enough good things about it. I, I really, really, really like this knife. The ergonomics on it are just... You're two fingering, you know, all day long. Your thumb up there, and it's comfortable. It really is. It's very comfortable. It's a great cutter, great slicer. But the price, I wish they could bring it down a little more. Maybe put it in that that eighty dollar range somewhere in there. But I get why they can't. That's just me kind of nitpicking at the price. Um, the pocket clip. I don't care for this pocket clip at all. Um, it's very, uh, it has a lot of retention on it. I mean, just a lot of snap on it. It almost takes two hands to get it into your pocket. So I kinda, I kinda gave way with the pocket clip because my primary knife will be riding there anyway. So I just throw it down in the pocket. And the last thing would have to be that lock bar. Um, it it kind of makes me nervous about. I'm I'm just I'm kind of anxious to see where we'll be in a little bit. I mean, this has been I've been carrying this knife for about two weeks straight, and I mean it, it doesn't appear to have gave way any. And I'm using this thing like crazy. I really am. And. Uh, I'm just kind of anxious to see because usually, you know, they're not, they're not traveled that far, you know, brand new. So I'll be anxious to see how it, how it handles and how it holds up. Uh, if you got any experience with the uh, Spyderco McB, let me know. Let me know in the comments down below. As always, thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you guys later.